Good morning. You know, sometimes you hear people say, the truth is like water, it will find its way. And I'm sure this is how it is. You can't stop it. But what's sort of interesting is that this time, again, they thought they could do it, right? They used all their resources to silence everybody. Nobody could talk about it. They thought they could get away with it, which is sort of hilarious. It's impossible, of course. Now the truth is like a tsunami, okay? And it's finding its way, now also into mainstream media. Mainstream media are controlled by these assholes. But now we see it, right? Uh, the other week I talked about Wall Street Journal. I remember, they are now talking about it. Yesterday I talked about Channel 9 in Australia. Yes, they're talking about it. And now I saw this. This is, I think these are local TV stations in the United States. Channel 4 and KTVB, right? They are talking about what's happening in Idaho. I'll post links to this. So Idaho lawmakers are introducing a bill to make it a misdemeanor to administer the tea, tea products. Right. Of course, this is perfect. This is what it should be, of course. It should be illegal to give this to people. It's a poison, right? So that's good. Now, I'm not worrying about this thing. The truth is coming out. What, what is bothering me is this, you know, these assholes who did it, they will get away. This is pissing me off. And I'm quite sure that they will, you know, they will be fine. People like Fauci, Bill Gates, stupid idiot politicians all over the place. Like our Swedish PM at the time, Magdalena Andersson. She was totally despicable. She get away. Nothing will happen, you know. Justin Trudeau, Dan Andrews, Jacinda Ardern. They will be fine. This is pissing me off. Now I could be wrong, of course. This tsunami could get so strong that we will see another Ceausescu situation. It's possible. But I doubt it. These guys protect each other. See? So, I don't like this. Uh, I saw some great protests. Uh, one was in New York. Pretty big crowd outside the Pfizer headquarters. This is the correct target. And they are demanding Nuremberg trials. It's great. And then they walked over to the United Nations. That's another correct target. These are correct targets. The WHO, Pfizer, United Nations, media, big media companies. See? It's correct. Like they did in England, outside the BBC. It's great. I saw another great protest. This was in Oxford. Big crowd protesting the 15-minute cities this plan that they have in Oxford. Well, they are doing it in Oxford. And Antifa was there. <laughs> so, George Soros sent his people and they were shouting that these people protesting were Nazis for protesting 15-minute cities. And Greta Thunberg, she's got some competition. There was a 12-year-old girl there at the Oxford protest. Brilliant. I'll post a link to her speech. She even said, how dare you? <laughs> and then she laughed, right? And she was talking to Klaus Schwab. You know, brilliant little 12-year-old girl. So I love this. This is all making me very happy. Right? I want more protests here in Sweden. You know? 
There are people who are very happy to organize these things. Where are you guys? Please, let me know. I want to know, I want to promote, I want to be part of it. Well, it's sort of, sort of quiet now in Sweden, you know? The authorities are very defensive here in Sweden now. The politicians are a bit silent. Okay, but we need to protest, keep protesting. All right, finally this story. Uh, you remember this. The US Biden administration, they shot down that balloon, you know? You remember? And apparently they used a very expensive missile to do it. Uh, what I hear is that it was a $400,000 missile to shoot down a balloon. And then there's a related story. The Northern Illinois Bottle Cap Balloon Brigade. It's a balloon club in Illinois. They say they are missing one of their balloons. <laughs> right. It's called the Pico Balloon. It costs $12 to make and it's missing in action. They say its last transmission was in the same area and on the same day that the US military shot down this object. <laughs> Unidentified flying object. Uh, well, I think they knew it was a balloon, right? But, you know, media in the United States, they are making a big deal out of this. What are these objects that we are shooting down? Uh, we are not counting out, we are not ruling out the f possibility. It could be aliens, you know. Of course, this is the stupidest distraction I've ever seen, I think. It's a distraction, of course, like I said. Right. They don't want us to look over here. They say, look over there. UFOs. We are shooting them down now. Well, right. So they are missing one balloon. All right. Be good.